Let me show you how to connect your Samsung S25 and S25 Ultra to a computer so you can actually transfer files such as pictures, videos and stuff like that. And for this process you will need your charging cable that you use to charge your phone. So simply connect both of them together. And once you connect it, over here on the screen you should see a prompt to allow connection. Basically it would look something like this, so I'm showing on a different phone because I have removed this from mine. So basically if you do not see that prompt essentially, uh, also make sure to unlock your phone so you are in this screen. Uh, you can also swipe down from this corner over here and will say uh, use USB for something. So it says at least for me USB for charging. So I'm going to click this and tap for other USB options and click this transferring files Android Auto. So again, in some case you might actually not see that prompt, but in most cases it should be okay. Uh, by the way, also if you actually do not see any of these options or again none of that prompt then again uh, check maybe uh, your cable so maybe your cable has some problems again maybe check another cable this is very common problem and then on our computer we can open the file explorer i'm going to type in pc to bring it up so again if you are on windows 10 or 11 simply search for this and you'll see under your device and drives this s25 and then click internal storage and if you want to access the pictures and videos they are in this folder essentially so this DC dcmi folder and then click camera over here and make sure to allow this fast load so it will take some time depending how much you have and actually do not touch any of these files before it finishes otherwise it can crash the whole system essentially so if you want to transfer out any like pictures or images all we really have to is maybe let's create a folder on our desktop where we want to transfer them and then simply select the image that you want to transfer and either we can like drag and drop them or again we can do a right click and click copy or cut and again open that folder and paste them over there and maybe if you want to transfer some movie files to your phone again we can go back to the internal storage and maybe uh, we can go to the movies folder here and take our video file and essentially drag it over here and let it transfer. And if we want to access our newly transferred file, we can go to the Samsung folder in our apps list here, click my files. Uh, then you will be able to click over here on the internal storage. And for example, if you click on the movies folders where we transferred, we have that file over here transferred. And again, if you actually do not see any of these prompts, again, if you simply swipe down like this and you do not uh, get that option or maybe it's like grayed out, then again, make sure to check your cable. Just because uh, your cable is good for charging, it doesn't automatically mean it's good for file transfer. Again, maybe you can try another port on your computer. So these things happen. It's very common, actually. Anyway, good luck.